I'll see you at the club. Drive safe. What the freak? Are you kidding me, you and Jeremiah? It just happened. Wait, wait, when? What, just now? Like a, a week ago? Oh my god, are you kidding me? <coughs> oh, the, oh, this is sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm Sharonda Williams, and welcome to Prime Video Recaps. Welcome to Prime Video Recaps, where I will be recapping some of our favorite Prime Video original titles in order for you to catch up before binging a new season. With the new season of The Summer I Turned Pretty premiering its first three episodes of season two on July 14th, I thought you might need a little reminder of what happened in season one of The Summer I Turned Pretty. The Summer I Turned Pretty is a series based on the New York Times bestselling book trilogy by Jenny Han. Every summer, Belly and her family head to the Fisher's Beach House and Cousins. Every summer is the same, until Belly turns 16. Relationships will be tested, painful truths will be revealed, and Belly will be forever changed. It's a summer of first love, first heartbreak, and growing up. It's the summer she turns pretty. Belly is packing to head to Cousins Beach like she does every summer. Taylor is there to help her pack. Belly, her mother Laurel, and her brother Stephen are finally reunited with their best friends, the Fishers, Conrad, Jeremiah, and their mother Susanna. Laurel is a writer, so she and Susanna head to the bookstore to finalize plans for Laurel's book launch. But before that, Susanna makes a quick stop at the country club. While at dinner, everyone learns that Conrad quit playing football and that Stephen and Jeremiah are working at the country club all summer. Susanna tells Belly about the debutante ball and that she secured her an invite to participate as a surprise. Belly takes a late night swim while Conrad is outside smoking. Belly gives him crap about smoking and Conrad questions why Belly would even consider becoming a dad, who he considers she. When Belly asks why Conrad is acting differently, he almost opens up to her but shuts down instead. Taylor convinces Belly to go to the first bonfire of the summer, even though the boys didn't invite her. When she shows up, Stephen immediately plays his big brother card and embarrasses Belly as she falls in front of everyone. Belly sees Conrad kissing Nicole, who he took to the dead ball last year, and she is upset. Belly then runs into an old Latin convention friend, Cam. Cam and Belly are hitting it off until Conrad gets into an argument with one of the guys at the party, and Belly gets hit in the face while she is trying to break them up. They end up leaving, but not before Cam invites her to come with him on the welling boat. She agrees and gives him a kiss before she heads home. The episode ends with the kids getting picked up by the cops for underage drinking, which Laurel scolds them for when they get home. Belly talks with Conrad on the beach, but leaves to go meet up with Cam on the welling boat. Unfortunately, she ends up missing the boat. Belly then decides to participate in the dead ball, which Susanna was really happy about and Laurel was confused about. Susanna takes Belly shopping with Laurel and they find a dress and other clothes for the debutante ball. Jeremiah is definitely enjoying his time at the country club as a lifeguard, while Stephen has eyes for a young girl at the country club, Shayla. Belly arrives at the country club for the debutante ball meetup. Belly starts hitting it off with the other girls right away. Belly spots Cam at the country club, so she goes and talks to him, where he invites her to go to the drive-in movie theater with him. Conrad is sitting for Susanna's portrait and she tries to catch up with him, but he isn't trying to have too much conversation. Susanna tells him that he needs to get a job and stop acting out. Laurel and Susanna head to her book party while Belly heads down to her date with Cam. Cam and Belly's date is going well and Laurel finds Conrad a drive with Cleveland, helping to teach him how to sell for his new book. Laurel decides to read Cleveland's novel. Conrad, Stephen, and Jeremiah crash Belly's date with Cam, so she yells at them and asks them to leave. Belly and Cam share another kiss at the end of their date. Shayla asks Steven to be her date for the debutante ball and he agrees. Conrad asks Belly how her date went, but she is still upset about them showing up. Belly and Conrad get into an argument as she walks away upset. Belly's birthday and cousins has always been full of traditions, but this year feels different. Everyone gives Belly a gift, except for Conrad. Even though Conrad bought Belly an infinity necklace, which has a symbolic importance to Belly and Conrad, he decides not to give it to her and claims he forgot to get her a gift instead. Afterwards, Jeremiah takes Belly on a driving lesson as they head to pick up her best friend Taylor, who is visiting her. Conrad is with Cleveland teaching him how to sell. Diva starts to get insecure about not being able to afford an expensive suit for the ball. 
Taylor arrives and she quickly gets jealous of Belly's new debutante friends, especially Nicole. While Taylor, Belly, Steven, and Jeremiah are playing pool volleyball, Taylor hits Nicole in the face with the ball. This incident then makes Conrad late to help Cleveland at his TV appearance. Laurel tries to talk to Conrad to see what has been bothering him lately, and he almost opens up to her, but still doesn't. Cam comes over for Belly's birthday dinner with the fam, and he survives his interrogation by Steven and Jeremiah. They all head to Nicole's party, and Belly's friends surprise her with a cute birthday cake, which makes Taylor even more jealous. Jeremiah decides to serenade Belly at the party, and she is not having it. Belly tries to find Taylor, and she finds her kissing her brother Steven at the party. They end up getting into a huge argument, and Belly leaves. Conrad asks Cam if he is going with Belly to the debutante ball, but he says she hasn't asked him yet. Belly asks Cam to leave the party, and while they're leaving, Cam asks Belly if she is into Jeremiah, and she says definitely not. Belly almost asks Cam to the dead ball, but she chickens out at the last second. Belly finds an affinity necklace in Conrad's room, which she thinks is for her. Taylor and Belly somewhat make up, and then Taylor heads back home from Cousins. Belly and Steven talk things out. Laurel tells Susanna she has been researching new therapies for her cancer, to which Susanna responds she isn't doing chemo again, and she will tell the kids about her cancer once they get back to Boston. It is the 4th of July and Susanna is throwing a party. Belly's dad and his new girlfriend are coming to the party. Belly's dad arrives with his girlfriend, Victoria. Susanna says her husband has to work, so he can't make it. Laurel calls Adam to tell him to get to Cousins, but when he shows up, Susanna is not happy to see him. Cam shows up to hang with Belly. Belly tells Shayla about Taylor and Stephen kissing. Conrad is giving his dad the cold shoulder, and Jeremiah tells him to squash it. Cam ends up leaving as Belly is too drunk. Belly sees Conrad in the outside shower, and she tells him that she likes him with wet hair because it's romantic. Shayla tells Stephen she knows about him and Taylor kissing, but pretends like she doesn't care by saying they're not serious anyways. Belly asks Conrad about the infinity necklace and if he got it for her. While Susanna is carrying the cake, Belly trips on a step calling Susanna to fall and drop the cake. Laurel checks on Susanna and asks what is happening with her and Adam. She tells Laurel that Adam cheated on her three years ago with his secretary while she was in chemo. Laurel tells her that she needs Adam to help her and the boys while she is sick, but she doesn't want Adam there with her at the end. They get into an argument and Laurel leaves upset. Adam decides to leave and go back to work. Laurel ends up at the bar where Cleveland is and they end up hooking up. Steven tells Shayla how much he likes her and they decide to make their relationship official. Belly and Laurel have a very interesting conversation about relationships as she thinks Cam might not be the one for her. Conrad tells Belly he did get the infinity necklace for her. Belly and Conrad almost kiss, but Jeremiah lights some fireworks to stop them. Belly has a flashback of Conrad teaching her how to dance. Belly is at a dance rehearsal for the dev ball, but she doesn't have a partner since she hasn't asked Cam. Conrad is in a good mood after waking up to Belly's good morning text. Laurel and Susanna make up. Jeremiah crashes Belly's waltz class and takes over as her partner for a few minutes before he gets kicked out for goofing off. Cleveland texts Laurel that he wants to see her again. Cam asks Belly out on a date to go bike riding. They are having a great date until Belly ends up breaking up with him. Steven is asked to work the car at Rome. Laurel and Susanna get high together and end up painting a very bad portrait of Jeremiah. Belly tries to talk to Conrad about their relationship, but he brushes her off. Belly calls Taylor and they make up. Laurel and Susanna are having a good time at the local bar, and then Laurel leaves the bar to hang out with Cleveland. While in the pool together, Jeremiah tells Belly he has feelings for her, and they kiss. Susanna tells Conrad to ask Belly to escort her for the debutante ball. Conrad has a panic attack while working with Cleveland, and Conrad tells Cleveland that he knows his mom has cancer. Belly is getting ready for the volleyball tournament, and Conrad apologizes for being rude to her. He asks her if he can still take her to the debutante ball, and she tells him she will think about it. Taylor shows up to cheer her up and help her with the tournament. Taylor is Team Jeremiah, so she fakes an injury to get Jeremiah to play with her. The problem is, Jeremiah isn't that good at volleyball, so Belly asks Conrad to replace Jeremiah so she can win the tournament. After they win, Susanna says that she told Conrad to ask Belly to the dead ball, which Belly is sad because she thought Conrad wanted to take her. Nicole invites Taylor and Belly to hang out with their friends on her dad's yacht. The girls play Never Have I Ever and the girls find out about Belly and Jeremiah kissing. Nicole and her friends see a text from Conrad saying he wanted to take Belly to the ball on Belly's phone, so they decide to steal Belly and Taylor's clothes and leave them there naked in the middle of nowhere. 
Jeremiah asks Conrad if he noticed their mom has been acting weird lately and sleeping all the time, but Conrad dismisses him. Nicole confronts Conrad about the text he sent to Belly. She hands Belly and Taylor's clothes to him and leaves. Stephen loses all his money in a poker game. Jeremiah and Conrad go to pick Belly and Taylor up and give them their clothes. Belly decides to have Jeremiah drive her home, so Taylor goes with Conrad. Belly thanks Jeremiah for coming to get her and they kiss and she asks him to go to the dead ball with her. Back at the house, Belly gets a message from Conrad asking if she is up and she goes to speak with him. Conrad gives her the infinity necklace. She tells him it is too late for them and walks away. Susanna wakes Belly up for her special day at the debutante ball. Laurel surprises her with the dress she wanted for the ball. Stephen tells Shayla that he lost all his money in the poker game, that he was saving to pay for his tuxedo, so he can't bring her to the ball. Shayla is livid, to say the least, but she offers for him to use her dad's tux for the ball. Conrad is trying to do random acts of kindness for Belly, but she isn't falling for it. Stephen sees Jeremiah and Belly kissing and freaks out, but Jeremiah promises that he wouldn't hurt Belly. Belly apologizes to Nicole and they make up. Belly and Jeremiah take center stage at the ball. Laurel abruptly leaves the ball after getting choked up about Susanna. John goes after her and he tells her that he and Victoria broke up. Jeremiah thinks something is seriously up with his mom that they aren't telling him. The guys kill it during the men's dance for the ball. Jeremiah decides to take his mom's phone to see if he can find anything. Cleveland invites Laura on a trip with him to a book festival in the fall. She says she might be busy and Cleveland tells her that he knows about Susanna's cancer and that Conrad told him. Shayla reassures Stephen why she is with him and he tells her he loves her. Belly can't find Jeremiah as their dance is starting so Conrad steps in. Their chemistry is so undeniable. Jeremiah figures out that Susanna's cancer has come back. Jeremiah tries to tell Conrad what is going on but he said he already knows. Jeremiah punches Conrad and they get into a fight until Susanna breaks them up. They tell her that they know she is sick and Belly finds out. Laurel, Belly, and Stephen cry it out together. We get a glimpse of the portraits that Susanna painted of the kid. Susanna tells Jeremiah and Conrad that she isn't going to do the cancer treatment again, but they beg her to try. Susanna tells Laurel that she's decided to do the trial for the boys. They end the night all having a family dinner together. Conrad and Belly talk the next morning on the beach and Conrad apologizes for being rude the entire summer. He tells her that he wants her and they kiss at the end of season one. Don't forget, The Summer I Turn Pretty Season 2 premieres its first three episodes on July 14th on Prime Video, with new episodes streaming each Friday. Mm -hmm.